Hello, I'm Andrew Zimmer. welcome out to Prison Architect, where we are currently in the process of building our Supermax facility. And by process, I mean we have a giant building. We haven't actually built anything inside it just yet. That is something we'll have to do relatively soon, although we do need a bit more cash to be able to do that, really. Uh, it's going to be a little bit on the expensive side. Eleven more prisoners arriving in an hour. Oh, I should probably grab some intelligence then, so we don't get anyone killed. I'll activate you. Okay. If I zoom out to like here. Yeah, frame rate tanks. Oh, yeah, got that below 20 there. Very briefly. Okay, what we got? Supply truck. Cleaning. Nothing. Nothing particularly of interest going on. I could replace some of the floor tiles, but if I do that, I'd start, you know... I'd start doing it with other stuff, and be like, oh, this room needs floor tiles, this room needs floor tiles, and then that gets expensive. Floor tiles are incredibly expensive. In fact, tiling the entire prison would cost far more than we currently have. Strange, you can build a prison, but putting down some basic, like, nice flooring other than, like, sheet concrete is apparently the most expensive part of prison facilities. Who knew that carpet was so expensive? Oh, actually, carpet is, like, the same price as, like, marble tile. Yeah, because that is how things are priced. Marble tile is really easy to put down, just like carpet. Uh, you buy it in rolls. Really, really, you know, it's fairly cheap, actually. Uh, transporting it, it's not particularly expensive. No. It's, like, the same price as carpet. How are we doing? Okay, so it's uh, max sec food, which means that very shortly will be uh, into gen pop food. And then when it's gen pop food, that's when it all kicks off. I'm expecting all the murders to happen. Oh, yay. Do we have an informant yet? There we go. Five minutes, roughly, until our prisoners get here. There we go, five minutes. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Hello! Uh, a couple of gang members, okay. Anyone else? Is that it? Some question marks? We've got 100% coverage, how do we have question marks? Call everyone in. We have question marks? This is novel. We've got a gang member over here. Who isn't in max sec. Where am I? Really far away. Still in the shower. This is gonna take some time. Okay, let's let's speed things up a little bit. Come on. Bring me bring me the uh, informant. Tell me all the things. Question mark. Stoical. Stoical fit. We're good. We don't need to worry about that. Right, this is where it all starts to kick off in the, the breakfast time, because everyone loves to have a bit of murder with their eggs. Or garden shears. Or a power drill. Looks okay so far. Okay. Prayer time. Oh, we need to remember to have one of these over the other side. 
Oh, hello. Someone's kicking off over here. What is it about the gang members today? Well, he wasn't a gang member. He was just tough. I think. Hmm. Right, anyway, that's all sorted. We've got a load of cash. Let's start designing our lovely new MagSec facility. So, the idea is uh, it will have a central kitchen. Well, yeah, a central kitchen with four canteens. And then each canteen effectively uh, populates a wing. So, we probably want a staff corridor. Let's do a planning. Can I do planning? There's a planning one, isn't there? Paving stone, blah, 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 blah. Rooms. Planning. Oh, it's just this big button here. Okay. I'd like to plan me some walls. All right. How long is this? 78. So half of that is 39. I only want it to be one wide. This is just a staff corridor. Right. So the idea is that by having a staff corridor, we can get staff going through pretty quick. Um, I'll have to also check what the reverse is. I can't read that from up here. 132? I think? That's 66. Right, so that is that. That looks roughly right. It's one too much this side, one too much up, but it's it's an even number, so I, I need to do that. Uh, the alternative is to have like wider corridors. <sighs> yeah, for the sake of keeping it, you know, OCD friendly, I'll make the corridors one wide. Uh. And yeah, this is going to be episode mostly about planning the max set facility, but we're going to try and plan it with like the maximum thought uh, in regards to security concerns. Right. That is a good prison. So we want a kitchen down the center with canteens off in all corners, and each area is going to have its own different thing. And they're probably going to be self-contained cells to avoid people actually uh, having to mingle, like these ones over here. I'm effectively just going to recreate these. In fact, I might actually just copy-paste from over there. And that should allow us to have people locked in their cells most of the day without having to worry about them. Which is like exactly how you want to deal with MagSec inmates. Because I'm a lovely person. Uh, right. How are we going to do this? How big is this? Fairly big. So if we're going to have a central row of cookers... Or, no, side rows of cookers. Central thing can be a corridor. So, it would be something along the lines of... Space, space, cooker, cooker, space, space, cooker. Which means wall. Cooker, cooker, space, space, cooker. Right, so let's just double check. Cooker, space, space, cooker... Space, space, cooker, cooker, space, space, cooker. Yes, okay, that does work. I probably sound insane, but just, like, randomly saying kitchen implements. Um, and how long do I want this? I mean, it could be any length, uh, really. Uh, a bit longer. So let's make this... Sure, let's go for 14. Thank you, autosave. Now is not the time. That should be able to do it. That should be okay, in theory. Now, let's just make a quick check on a load of our 
protective custody, inmates. I can't check their individual wants and needs, can I? Yeah. That was something I found really, really silly. Like, I can't tell what the problem is with people. Oh, that's really frustrating. Like, I can't tell if their rooms are working for them. It's really stupid whoever designed that. Uh, ugh, let's, let's figure this out, then. Okay, so that's probably the right size. Um, Alright, then we need to add... One, two, three. Yeah, honestly, I can just give them room. All right, this is going to be canteen area. So let's go with 22, including that bit of wall. Okay. Uh, we'll delete all that. Right, so canteen, 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 walkway, 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 uh, kitchen. We're only just going to take people in through the kitchen unless we move the entrance. I mean, we can always move the entrance. That's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, right, what do we do now? What else do you need? Well, this would be good. But if we have a chapel, we'll need one for each. Dorm. I mean, it might just be worth it. Yeah, let's have a chapel for each dorm, effectively. Uh, what else do we want? Infirmary. No, they can get drugs at the infirmary. Honestly, I'm happy to just to send them across if we have to, all the way over to here. We'll see how that goes. I'm probably, for now, just going to send them over here. Uh, armory over here, Mog over here. We'll need a guard security station over here, I think. We'll need a parole thing over here as well. But these can be these can be out here, right? That's not going to be too much of an issue. Staff room, I find one over here. I don't want a workshop over there. I don't. Want, I don't want anything where people could like steal stuff. Let's look at our intelligence. You can get scissors from there. You can't get anything from the mail room, so it might it might be worth having something in the mail room over there. Um, shop. We could give him a shop now. You need shops to have really a communal area. Do they really need anything else? Like they're not going to have a yard because that's where everyone congregates, and you know people get shanked in the yard. The yard's actually pretty horrific in terms of like uh, deaths and stuff. If you don't you know properly. Uh, Watch it. I think we might be okay. Yeah, I think we might be... Might be good. I mean, I will have one of these, right? I'll have a chapel to try and decrease the chance of people kicking off. And let's also plan it around having cells of... Effectively, there are 3x3 three three cells, but with the wall, there are like 5x5. Five five. So we're doing like a 5x5 five five with a 5x5. Five five. Hmm. Doesn't really fit perfectly. Although that said, if we do that... 5x5... Five five, Mm, no, it would stick out at the end. God damn it. Okay, right. What about 5x5 five five up here? Hmm. The center one could be, like, a chapel. That'd work. How big does the chapel have to be? Chapel, 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 chapel. Six by six. Ooh. 
Oh, uh, we got it just. But we can get the chapel working. Okay, so that's a chapel. People can, like, enter through here. I'm going to have to shift this around to get to work. Okay, so... What about here? Yeah, that works. I mean, it looks a bit janky here. Um, actually, we can just give it an extra wall here. The chapel doesn't mind having, like, a weird little bit of a dog leg in it. That's fine. It's not great in a normal prison, because, like, people could hide or whatever in the corners, but, you know, whatever. Um... Okay. So if we went... Uh, this would need to be seven, nine... Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, we'll continue to do that. There we go. And the reason is I don't like right up against the wall. Get any closer they get to the wall, the closer they are to just digging out. So I want to try and keep as central as possible when I can. I don't really want anything else over there. Like, they've got everything they need in their cells, which is why I can keep my... Uh, Gen pop prisoners like alone at home for like most of the day. Let's just check the sh regime. I was going to say schedule. It's called the regime. Protective custody. They're in lock at most of the day. That's exactly like Max Eckleby. Don't think we've got an issue. So far, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. Uh, I think that makes it about twenty-two. And the formula is four times number of cells plus one. Four times number of cells plus one. So if this is going to be, say, eight cells, I need to be 33. Actually, four times number cells plus one. Yes. Yeah, my formula's right. Okay, so unfortunately, this doesn't like measure up to be perfect because thirty-four does not divide by four. I mean, it does, but it leaves a decimal or a fraction. Uh, so we could have go the other way, bring them down. Thirty-six. Again, thirty-five. Thirty-five does not divide by four. I think we just have to roll with it. I don't think we've got much of a choice on this one. Or we could have an extra uh, hallway. It wouldn't be perfect, but it would work. It would leave a one wide hallway at the end. I'm going to go for it. Right, and this will be um, nine. That'll be nine. And, of course, that is one too many. I 
But these are right. Maybe I could just leave the spare space here in case I want to put something in later. Uh, yeah, that seems sensible. Okay, let's start to build it. So I want to brick this up. Demolish the wall here. This is going to become the main entrance. Um, we'll put some processing for these in here, like, uh, uh, what's it called? A security booth and stuff. Maybe even our own, uh, reception. Although we can just take them like that. Yeah. And we could even put an infirmary in here. For now, it doesn't really matter too much. Right. Let's start doing this. Put in the walls. I know I spent most of the episode just talking about putting in walls, but now, now this is this is, see this is the thing. When you're designing such a large facility, you're gonna spend a long time designing the facility because hey, that stuff's important. There we go. Uh, I'll only put in this quarter so uh, so far. I don't think I need to put in the rest. In fact, I'm going to go so far as to actually not put in any of the other stuff in the rest. Other than the security corridors. Because the security corridors are kind of needed, right? Like, these are a given. These are the things that are going to be, like, important, structural. What's the word? Structural. They're, like, they're quintessential to the, the design of the prison. They are linchpins of the security system. I don't know what you'd say. There, there was a word that I was looking for, but apparently uh, I've decided to derp on it today. As I do too many days. Right, now, can I actually, like, copy-paste... Do we have any vertical cells? We do have vertical cells. Well, we're good. I'm going to replace the flooring because I do not want my prisoners having uh, wood flooring. Partly because in a real prison you would not get that because people would, like, break the wood and use it for shivs. So, yeah, no, no, no wood. Um, I think I can leave all of these for the moment just because I'm going to be pasting on top of them. These are just rooms. So we're fine. Yeah, okay, let's do a copy paste. Hold right mouse and drag select an area. There we go. And then let's do the same with this one down here. The reason I have to do them separately is because it's got a different width to the, uh, the corridor. And I'm specifically using ones that are in the middle, so that they don't, like, break anything they're attached to if they're wrong. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't as expensive as I feared it could be. Excellent. Go, my pretties, go! Make me a lovely prison. Worthy of Mordor, but also of the Urukai. You know, I don't mind a bit of Isengard as well. Uh, oh, we're going to need to put in uh, some doors now. Quickly, before people start like complaining they can't get anywhere. Uh, staff doors. That should actually probably be a security door rather than just a staff door. Oh, that said, it does go to the outside, which is protected by a fence. So we're probably okay doing that. Probably. We'll need a staff door here so that we can get in and out of... Oh, I like things kicking off a little bit. 
so that people can get into the uh, chapel. And then we'll put a normal door here. And in terms of getting into here, we can put a normal door. Do we want normal doors or do we want like ones linked to remote? We might end up wanting ones linked to remote. For now, I'm just actually going to tell them to just dismantle sections of wall. The reason I want the ones linked to like sections of remote is because I can like in the event of lockdown, I can lock everything down. So I'm just gonna move sections there for now and I'll actually dismantle that door. In fact I could do the same with the staff doors. I'll leave it for now, we'll see. But anyway, I've been at risk. I'm gonna end the episode here. I know we've just done an episode that's mostly planning, but I did warn you that there'll be a lot of planning to go. Uh, so... Oh, you, you need power. Yeah, I should probably send you power. We'll do that. Anyway, if, uh, if you've liked, please remember to like. It would be very kind of you. Uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. But until next time, you just remember to stay shiny. <laughs>